As a reminder, Lyme disease is caused by a bacteria that's in the genus Borrelia. However, it infects individuals through its vector form, which lies in ticks. So to better understand the transmission of Lyme disease, we need to deep dive into the life cycle of ticks themselves. Now ticks typically have a lifespan of about two to three years. And that starts when the eggs of ticks are laid in early spring. They then spend spring maturing into summer where they'll hatch into their larvae form. And those larvae are going to look for their first blood supply. And that's because ticks absorb the nutrients that they need in order to grow through blood. And those typical infections from ticks into their first blood supply happen with small rodents like mice or rats, and sometimes even small birds. And that's where ticks can pick up the bacteria in the Borrelia genus. So they then spend the next year maturing into their nymph form throughout the fall and winter. And it's during that time that they're going to look for another blood supply. And that can happen in larger mammals, such as deer or even people. Once they get that next blood supply, then they'll spend the remainder of that year maturing even further into their adult form, which they'll need in order to lay their eggs. But during the nymph or the adult form, if they latch on to an individual and they have the Borrelia bacteria infected inside, that's where they could pass it on to a person, thus causing Lyme disease.